This is the first lecture on Barron's 800 high frequency words. In this lecture, we'll deal with words from abate to apothem. Abate. Abate is a verb. Abate means subside or moderate. Example, we waited for the storm to abate. Abdicate. Abdicate is a verb. Abdicate means renounce or give up. Example, the king abdicated his throne in favor of his eldest son. Aberrant. Aberrant is an adjective. Aberrant means abnormal or deviant, not usual or normal. Example, given the aberrant nature of the data, we came to doubt the validity of the documents provided as proof. Abeyance. Abeyance means suspended action. Example, the bill was kept in abeyance till the president returns from his foreign tour. Abject. Abject means wretched or the state of being extremely poor, unhappy, unsuccessful, etc. An abject action or expression shows that you feel very ashamed. Example, on the streets of New York, the homeless live in abject poverty. Our next word is abjo. Abjo is a verb. Abjo means renounce upon oath. Example, MPs or urged to abjo their allegiance with their current party. Abscission. Abscission means the natural detachment of parts of plant, typically dead leaves and ripe fruit. Example, leaf abscission in trees. Abscon. Abscon is a verb. Abscon means depart secretly and hide. Example, he has to convince a judge that he wasn't going to abscond with the money. Abstain. Abstain means refrain or withhold from participation to choose not to vote for or against something. Example, pilots must abstain from alcohol for 24 hours before flying. Second example, six countries voted for the change, five voted against and two abstained. Abstinence. Abstinence means the practice of not having something you enjoy, especially alcohol or sex usually for reasons of religion or health. Example, I had planned to usher in the new decade with a month of abstinence. Abysmal. Abysmal means bottomless or extremely bad or appalling. Example, last night his performance at the opera was a mere abysmal. Accretion. Accretion is a noun, a layer of a substance which slowly forms on something or a gradual process by which new things are added, thus gradually changes or gets bigger. So increase in size also means accretion. Example, we will solve our trade problems not by big contracts, but by an accretion of hundreds of smaller deals. Second example, I could notice accretion of rust on the iron grills of the windows due to bad weather. Next word is accrue. Accrue is a verb. If money accrues or is accrued, it gradually increases over a period of time. Example, interest will accrue until payment is made. Adamant. Adamant is an adjective. Adamant means stubborn, determined not to change your opinion or a decision that you have made. Example, she begged me to change my mind, but I remained adamant. Adjunct. Adjunct is a noun. Adjunct means something that is added or joined to something that is bigger or more important. Example, online instruction is a useful adjunct to the real thing. Next word is admonish. Admonish is a verb. Admonish means warn or to tell someone severely that they have done something wrong. Example, the witness was admonished for failing to answer the question. Adulterate. Adulterate is a verb. Adulterate means to make food or drink less pure by adding another substance of lower quality to it. Example, many of the street foods are being adulterated without customer's notice. Our next word is aesthetic. Aesthetic is connected with beauty and study of beauty. Example, from the aesthetic point of view, it's a nice design. A work of great aesthetic appeal Next word is affected. Affected is an adjective. Affected means artificial, not sincere or natural. Example, an affected love. 
Next word is affinity. Affinity is a noun. Affinity means kinship or a strong feeling that you like and understand someone or something. Example, his remarkable affinity with animals is commended by his team members. Next word is aggrandize. Aggrandize is a verb. Aggrandize means when a person or a country tries to increase their power or importance. This is normally used to show disapproval. Raise in power or wealth or rank or honor is also called aggrandize. Example, the misuse of authority for personal aggrandizement. Next word is aggregate. Aggregate means sum or total. Example, the smaller minorities got an aggregate of 1327 votes. Next word is alacrity. Alacrity means quickness and eagerness. Example, she accepted the offer with alacrity. Next word is alchemy. Alchemy is a noun, a science studied in the Middle Ages that involved trying to change ordinary metals into gold. Example, alchemists tried changing base metals into gold. Allay means to make someone feel less afraid, worried, etc. To pacify is also called allay. Example, the president made a statement to allay public anxiety. Next word is alleviate. Alleviate is a verb. Alleviate means to make something less painful. Example, a new medicine to alleviate the symptoms of flu has been invented. Alloy or alloy. Alloy is a metal that consists of two or more metals mixed together. Example, brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Allo. Allo is a verb. Allo means entice or attract. Example, at 50 she had lost none of her sexual allure. Next word is amalgamate. Amalgamate is a verb meaning if two organizations amalgamate or if one amalgamates with another they join and make one big organization or to combine two or more things together to make one big thing example the agency is expected to amalgamate with the national reverse authority are not certain especially because it can be understood in more than one way. Example, the language in the minister's statement is highly ambiguous. Next word is ambivalence. Ambivalence is a noun, the state of having contradictory or conflicting emotional attitudes. Example, we are both somewhat ambivalent about having a child. Our next word is ambrosia. You can pronounce it as ambrosia or ambrosia. It is a food of gods or food or drink that tastes very good. Example, it is believed that angels drink ambrosia to attain immortality. Second example, after the diet of the last few days, anything would taste like ambrosia. Next word is ameliorate. Ameliorate means to make a bad situation better or less harmful. Example, it is not clear what can be done to ameliorate the situation. The next word is amenable. Amenable is an adjective. Amenable means willing to accept what someone says or does without arguing. Situation for a particular type of treatment. Young people are more amenable than older citizens to the idea of immigration. Second example, such conditions may be amenable to medical intervention. Amenities. Amenities means convenient features, something that makes a place comfortable or easy to live in. Example, the hotel in the city center, close to shops and local amenities. Our next word is amulet. Amulet is a noun, a small piece of jewelry worn to protect against bad luck, disease, etc. A talisman. Example, around her neck she wore the amulet that looked very bright under lights. Our next word is anachronism. Anachronism is a noun, something or someone misplaced in time, someone or something that seems to belong to the past, not to the present. Example, his painting style was seen and outdated and anachronistic. 
Our next word is analgesic. It is an adjective. An analgesic is a drug that reduces pain. Example, aspirin is a popular analgesic. Our next word is analogous. Analogous is an adjective meaning similar to another situation or thing so that comparison can be made. Example, the reporter's findings are analogous with our own. Our next word is anarchy. Anarchy is a noun, absence of governing body, a situation in which there is no effective government in a country or no order in an organization or a situation. Or anarchy also means a state of complete disorder and disturbance. Example, the classroom was in a constant state of anarchy. Our next word is anodyne. Anodyne is a noun. Anodyne means drug that relieves pain or opiate. Or if some, some words which are expressed in a way that is unlikely to offend anyone, so that particular uses of words, we call it anodyne. Right? Those words act like an anodyne. Example, his pain is so horrible that no anodyne can relieve it. Our next word is anomalous. Anomalous is an adjective meaning abnormal. Different from what is expected to find. Example, a highly anomalous situation. Our next word is anomie. Anomie is lack of usual social or ethical standards in an individual or group. Anomie is a condition in which society provides little moral guidance to individuals. This evolves from conflict of belief system and causes breakdown of social bonds between an individual and the community. So it is a complete state of distress and disorder. Next word is antecedents. Antecedents is a noun preceding events or circumstances that influence what comes later or a thing that existed before or logically precedes another is called antecedents. Example, her early life and the antecedents have been traced by the police. The second meaning of antecedents is ancestors. Our next word is antediluvian. Antediluvian is an adjective. Antediluvian means antiquated, ancient or very old fashioned. Antediluvian is a time, it's an old time which is mentioned in the Bible where there were heavy floods. So the metamorphic meaning of these floods is antiquated which is very old. Example, the antediluvian customs had apparently not changed for thousands of years. Our next word is antipathy. Antipathy is a noun, the feeling of some strong dislike towards someone or something. So a strong dislike is called antipathy. Example, there has always been a certain amount of antipathy between the two doctors. Our next word is apathy. Apathy is a noun, the feeling of not being interested in something and not willing to make any efforts to change or improve things. Example, the campaign failed because of public apathy. Our next word is apex. Apex is a noun, top or highest part of something pointed or curved. So apex also means summit or the most important position in an organization or society is also called as apex. Example, he was at the apex of his career when recession hit the market. The second example, the king was at the apex of society. Our next word is apogee. Apogee is a noun. The meaning of apogee is the highest point. The most successful part of something is also called as apogee. Example, his political career reached its apogee in 1960s. Our next word is apathem. Apathem is a noun, a concise saying or a maxim. An aphorism is also called as apathem. Example, proverbs or apathems that have become familiar sayings. So we are done with our first set of words, 1 to 50 words out of 800. Here in this entire lecture series, here this is the pronunciation you have to focus. Okay, This is not actually phonetical pronunciation, this is just given for your reference. But the actual pronunciation you should follow is this one. Right? I hope this video is helpful. Thank you.